What is up my squirrel lights? It's Zyre King back with more Let's Play Uncharted. In the last episode, we made it through that... I don't, what would you... I'll just call it the cave. Yeah, we made it through the cave or whatever. And in this episode, we need to get onto this German U-boat, but unfortunately, as Drake said at the end of the last episode, we have to do this the hard way. So let's do this. And I immediately started holding R1. I am playing way too much Shadow of the Colossus. Or just, I'm too used to that control scheme. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, we want to head over this way. Come on up. And hop up here. And then, oh, sorry, no, we want to go this way. Where am I going? Man, alright, there we go. Well. Yeah, it's still very helpful to get up on that one ledge. But anyways, um, okay, Drake, let's start swinging, buddy. Just like that. There we go. Up. Oh, alright, sweet. Anyways, um, so... As of the time of recording this, the first episode has come out, and I can see that I did get a really, uh, a universally positive reaction for it. Um, some of the hints that I gave, conf wow, that was an accident, confused a lot of people. The only one that really kind of gave it away um, for most was the hint where I said that the series has... There we go! Jeez! Okay. But I was th when I said that the series has won a total of 28 Game of the Year awards, um, which it has, most of those being for Uncharted 2, um, which won, I think, like 22 in itself. But the, all the other hints kind of stumped a lot of people, except for, um, I think, one person knew what I was talking about when I said that the person who um, composed the music for this game um, also composed the soundtrack, or composed the music for King of the Hill. Yeah, Greg Edmondson. Um, the composer for the soundtrack of this game composed the, the King of the Hill music, which is kind of funny. This is the, um, the Uncharted series is the only video game he's ever, or they're the only video games he's ever composed for. Anyways, let's just take a minute to just check out this view. Ah, it looks so awesome. Anyways. Alright, sorry about that. But anyways, um, yeah. And then, what was the other hints that I gave? Um, that there's going to be a movie... For, um, for the game released in 2015, and yes, there is an Uncharted Drake's Fortune movie announced that will be coming out in 2015, which is probably, uh, I guess, you know, kind of mixed reactions considering the history of video game movies being absolutely horrendous, so, I don't know, maybe you, you can choose to be excited about that if you want, but, I don't know, it really depends. Um, anyways, let's just head over here. This is, yep, I'm just going to drop down right here, and all I want to do is head up over this way. Now, I love this line coming up. <laughs> it is funny, I love that line. Anyways, alright, now let's head down into the U-boat, and um, I would like to let you guys know that Uncharted, although it's not like... Blood everywhere. You know, I mean, it's a violent game and whatnot, but it's not, but it also has a few elements of, like, horror and just kind of, you know, stuff that you might find a little bit unsettling, so, you know, if you are if you are sensitive to, the, to that kind of stuff, just be prepared for it, alright? Like, dead bodies and such. And I've, later in the game, there are some, there's some slightly horror-based sections, but that's about it. Alright, now we just want to drop down here. And, ooh, I see something over there. Fun. My favorite. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? Anyways, let's just continue on through, I guess. I think the trail just got warm again. I'm um, actually no, I'm pretty well, sure it's cold. Drake, do you see that he's of Spanish gold. dead? That's cold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. I don't know where I was going with that. Whatever. But yep, let's keep going. And of course, you know, in every, in pretty much any treasure hunting movie, game, anything, there has to be um, Nazis involved because, well, remember, Nazis were onto everything, right? 
Anyways, um, this whole um, kind of like button command that you have to do to opening uh, for opening these doors is used a few more times throughout the game. You just basically press triangle, then mash it a little bit, and then you just rotate the control stick to finish it off. It's pretty simple. Anyways, as we get through here, we're actually going to have to swim for a second. It's that deep. Yep, and then we just swim up to this ladder. Get up there. All right. And just keep cozy. going through. Yes, very cozy. I'd like to sleep in here. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that you'd be sleeping on pure metal, but yeah. I'm in the captain's quarters. Get this. He's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. Looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan? Oh boy, something's up. Alright, let's head outside really quick and just check on Sully. Ugh, man. I, I gotta say, if I were in Nate's situation, I don't know. I don't know how I'd react to just seeing a bunch of decomposing bodies all over the place. I don't know, but that's, I guess, you know, just a thought. Uh oh, that's not good. That's probably. Yeah, that's what I just said. Alright. We'd better get out of here fast. Alright, go, 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 go. Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Guys. Easy. Put your hands up. Hi, right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <laughs> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So? We square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? <laughs> That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with... Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding. You son of a... No. No, that can't happen. No. Sully's awesome. What the heck, man? That's so stupid. Ah, uh, that has just got to be the most disappointing thing that's happened to me all week. <sighs> yeah, I mean, aside from the part where I lock my keys in the car, but jeez, come on, game, don't be doing that now. Whoa there, cowboy! <laughs> that me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. Shh. Well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. All right, come on. Gabe, shh! I like to apologize for the little skip on the disc there, but I don't, I don't know why that happens. It just happens from time to time with my PS3. I don't really get it, but anyways. Um, yeah, stealth is the key, my foot. Oh, look, he already saw me? How? Wow, that's dumb. All right, let's just Come run on. up right here. And blind firing is usually my... Um, I actually tend to do that a lot more than most people. I don't know why. It's just something I enjoy. Excuse me. Up. Uh, great. Okay, apparently she's got that entire block taken up. Lena, you need to you need to lose some weight, girl. Anyways, come on. Wow. Okay, blind firing not working at all right now. Let's just aim, I guess. There we go. All right, that worked. And let's see, ammo from you, and I'll take some from you. And that's the most I can hold at the moment, right? Oh no, he's got an AK-47. All right. Uh, AK-47. Um, I'm not really a fan of this in um, this game in particular much more of a fan of it in the sequel but yeah it's I don't know it's not that bad anyways I love this mechanic right here while hanging press L1 to aim and press R1 to shoot love that mechanic right there anyways um, I'm gonna try to get a good number of headshots and I'm usually pretty good at getting um, headshots in these games to be honest as you can see right there and then there's you Sweet. And you just have to get one. It doesn't matter what gun, it doesn't matter what bullet, um, you know, it doesn't matter how many bullets, just one will do it with the head. doesn't matter what you use. Uh, there we go. Oh, missed him. All right, let's try to use this then. Come on. A uh, little tactic that you can also um, pull off here is when you're holding L1, if you press L3, you can actually switch shoulders so you can look in a different direction. That's something to. Take into consideration when firing. I don't see anyone down that way yet. Although that probably won't last very long. Let's grab this ammo and continue. Stay close. Uh, Alright, I see you there. I see you. Come on. Again, I'm not very good at shooters. So you're going to have to bear with me here. Uh, third person or and first person alike. I'm just not that great at them. But regardless. Alright, I can still do my best story. plus the you know the platforming puzzle solving elements those are there as well so it's not like this whole game is just a big shooting fest although that oops I didn't mean to do that um that is kind of my biggest my other biggest problem with Drake's fortune is that unlike um among thieves oh excuse me unlike um among thieves and um Drake's deception from what I've heard of Drake's deception um this one is much more like just kind of a shootout game than the other two um, you do a lot less, um, a lot less of this in the other two games. Which, you know, I guess that's a problem sometimes, but, you know, to each his own, right? Alright, it just seems to get a little excessive at times. It especially, it especially feels excessive, obviously, on the first playthrough, because these gunfights take forever the first time you play through, if you haven't played it before, because you're just getting used to all the mechanics and stuff like that. Alright, continuing on... There we go. Running and gunning is also a nice tactic. Didn't mean to press square there. Um, so yeah, just that usually is very effective, and it's something that I tend to do a lot as well. These guys aren't messing around. No, they're not. All right. Now we want to head up the ladder. Let's do that really quick. Fortunately, he does not climb as fast as Gordon Freeman, but then again, who does? And let's continue on forward. Anyone else going to be over this way? I knew it. Dive behind cover. 
Alright. He's focusing on a land and I blew my opportunity. There we go. Alright. And then where, where are you? I see you. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Alright, I believe I got a headshot out of that too, so that's useful. Um... It's just one of the achievements that I tend to frequently get is headshot-based achievements, so... Hey, I thought I broke that last time I was here. What the heck? Oh, excuse me. Alright, I wish... I really wish I had grenades right now. You know what? Screw it. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Lana got him. She's actually useful um, at times, don't worry. The AI can be helpful in these games. Uh, uh, even though they aren't in any other game ever, pretty much. And he had a grenade. Oh, balls, oh, balls, 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 balls. Alright, with you. And snap his neck. Alright, now get behind cover before I die. Um, if you couldn't tell that there is no health bars, the way you die is basically um, when you take enough damage, um, the screen is going to start to lose color. And that's how you can tell um, whether or not you're dying. If it loses all of its color, well, then you're dead, obviously. It's going to look completely black and white. All right, there we go. Ten headshots already. Sweet. Um, now, the rest of this video, I mean, it's gone a little long already. I think I'm actually going to be finishing it in um, finishing what we're doing here in the next video. So with that, guys, this has been the Squirtle King. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more. Um, and also make sure to leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to check out my Twitter and Facebook page. Links are all in the description below. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune.